In my work with Child Family Health International, I am intrigued by the role of myself as a woman interacting with our global partners. Some of the partners are female, such as HEMA, however many are men. It also has come to my attention that the gender dynamics are not as apparent over our dominant mode of, com of communication, which is email. I think that there has been some leveling of the playing field with the reliance on internet communications. It is usually only with face-to-face -face meetings that I become keenly aware of the male-dominated nature of medical constructs abroad. In one recent meeting my in Mexico, my experience very much echoes what Steve mentioned of Hamas. We were in a meeting with a Mexican physician, and he spoke directly to the two males in the room, while the three females in the room sat idly by for about an hour and a half. I actually didn't even notice it, and it was the males in the room that brought it up after the meeting. They felt very conscious that the, the physician was only talking to them. I had kind of brushed it off as an expectation um, and maybe a cultural sensitivity. I do find that I often have to balance my desires for equality, gender equality, um, with my, my, ba my desire for cultural respect and understanding where people are coming from. So I often rely on, well, it's the culture and I'm not part of it and I want to respect it. And in doing so, I subvert um, some of my assertiveness as a woman. I think that being a female leader and physician is a unique juggling act and that informs my own definition of success. It requires overcoming unique challenges, including finding mentors who, can identify, who you can identify with, and soul searching to prioritize our roles as sister, mother, daughter, wife, partner, friend, along with our dedication to career and advancement. Child Health Family Health International, organization founded by Eveline Jones, a female family physician at Stanford, has given me the support and created an environment of gender consciousness. This consciousness is the first step towards equity. For this, I am very grateful. And I hope that this forum and others such like it can lead to the increasing empowerment of women. I think it's important to look at the definition of this empowerment. This empowerment includes the recognition that success for many women is a balancing act. That excellence in one arena or another should not have to come at the cost of our critical female roles as mother, sister, daughter, wife, partner, friend. As women ascend into leadership positions, I hope we will Im inflect and improve our institutions so that they will embrace success as defined by women so that women don't consider any part of themselves as mediocre when they are achieving that balance. I hope that my daughter walks through halls with faces framed of female leaders with whom she greatly identifies and can then emulate. Thank you. <laughs>